all areas adjacent, throw your dubs up, the only hip-hop show. You heard? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the only hip-hop show. I am LaRon Pierce with Fine-Ass KK and Aisha Nubi in the building. And our special guest, we have m s Dank in the building. Talk to What's me, bro. Good? Hey. Good? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Hey, appreciate y'all having, appreciate y'all having me on here. Yeah. So how you feeling, man? Oh, man, I'm blessed, dog. You know, that's regular. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's start things off, man. So I saw the music videos. They're actually dope, actually. Appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Anytime, man. Um, so what makes you start rapping, man? Like, what what inspired you to start rapping? Um, shit, man, my, my, um, my uncle, his name LP, also. That's funny. <laughs> he used to produce for Ice-T, so I started to be in the studio with him, just cooling. And okay. That's cool, that's cool. Um, I guess I'll be the one to ask the question. Ah, shit, are you starting <laughs> it off? I'm okay, like, let me wait, follow what? you up. Where we what we got <laughs> I mean, I we want to know you. what does MNS stand for? Stand for money never sleep. So, is this like a crew? Is it just you? How many people are in it? Like, what is this? It's What's the inspiration? It's a lot of us, man. You know, we like money, and <laughs> you know, we just we made it a label, a group, friends, family, majority family though. But basically, it's like an A side, uh, A side mob. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, what's the other one? Um, G Unit, G Unit. <laughs> you know, and Everybody then we also have A and G and stuff things. like that. So yeah. Um, so what what was the inspiration of the title, Money Never Sleeps? Man, we just be up all night. We don't get no sleep. We just <laughs> get money. Hey man, that's just the year of blood went up. So you can't get no money if you sleep, man. That's that's facts. That's facts. Are you the only rapper? No, nah, I'm the main artist though. Oh, so you it's like how me. many people in the group rap? Like um, estimate of five. You got me. You got um. MS Art Dog, you got Rare, you got Don. Uh, excuse me if I missed it, if I, if I missed mm-hmm. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Heavenly. And that's really it. Okay, okay, okay. So you said your Uncle LP is kind of who got you in the music. Yeah. Is that what it did? He Was he any of your motivation to start rapping? My motivation to start rapping was really like, N.W.A. Okay. Niggas, what out Because I was going to ask you, who are some artists that inspire you? Master P. Period. Okay. Make, Make them say, say uh. Oh. Hey. Uh, nah, nah. Cash money. You know, that was, that, 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 that's my era right there. Right. right. So, yeah. But I really grew up, you know, Easy e Tupac, Biggie, all them. I like your I glasses. Them real player. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> zoom in on the Cartier <laughs> friends. <huh? laughs> Nah, but you know what? Okay, so um, you are an artist that I recently found out about, mm-hmm. and I was listening to one of your songs, and I often heard you refer to, like, Dark Gang, and I'm not going to get into any details about that, because if you're from the city, then you know. However, with you having, like, that following, was it easy for you to start rapping since you already, like, kind of have a crew or people or did you still face the same challenges as somebody with no backing? Um yeah, because, you know, I the dirt game don't really fall me. You know, that the hood shit, that the hood stuff don't really It's don't not really in, it's not entangled. It. Uh-huh. I don't present myself like that. You That's know, cool. I know super game banging and out there. Right. Oh, this on grip and this one, you know, I see right. I throw it in every once in a while. Right. Do you feel like that can hinder an artist with them constantly of course. saying that? Yeah. 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 But then how do some artists like Snoop Dogg or a Blueface right. be able to say, or even Nipsey? I feel like at a certain extent. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That's their image, though. You know, like, yeah. that's, how they, that's, that, that's how they came out. So, you know, if you come out like that, that's the image you want to portray, then, you know, you got to go for it and you got to. Except the consequences that come with it. <laughs> you know, a friend, I like that you said that because I was going to ask you, did you ever find that mixing those both worlds as far as like what you do on your own and music, do you ever find that it stops you or does it advance you in any way? Nah, it, it don't stop me because, you know, 
I'm real. I'm a, you know, if you're a real nigga out here, then. I was just all about that to say. Matter. In a sense, it's like I'm a man first. Yeah. Like, all that other stuff come after. Because I got blood friends. And you know what Conrad like. from the AF said when he was on the show? He said that at the end of the day, blue and red is not the most important color. And I said, what's the most important color? Because I'm thinking he's going to say green. No, he said black. True. Well, that was a curveball. Yeah. He wasn't expecting Dang. that. <laughs> well, I feel, yeah. You know? But I was like, green? He was yeah. like, no, black. I'm like, okay. All right, well. You got so many, you know, these, these, young, these, young, these young folks, they don't care about the, no black. Man. No, know, they don't. Especially on some game banging stuff out here in L.A. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the main thing. Like, then everybody game banging in L.A. Okay. Well, you know what else I know this friend? I see you are definitely verified. You know, we look for that blue check on the gram. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> All the time. And, no, I just wanted to know, um, can you explain to us how things have changed or if you've noticed that they've even changed since you became verified? Right. Yeah. You know, the verification, you could get in. In the dough, huh? You, Anywhere. They get you in there, and then they reach back to you. You feel me? Like Quicker. Yeah. That's crazy. And you're official, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're official celebrity when they book on their Instagram book. So, yeah, that's that's what verify like means. See, you they know see what the mean? DMs. Yeah, they, <laughs> that's fact. When you reach Something about that blue check, you just be like, right. <laughs> it could be spam. You still on the message. Like, what? That's about? When you made it, you'll make more money that way. Because once, once you get verified, you get a lot of... Um, Sponsors, Sponsors, advertisements, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. all of that. So, but do you even care about that? Because some people don't care. I was I was verified before the blue check. So. Period. Period. That's my next <laughs> caption. Oh, <Instagram>. but you <laughs> gotta have the blue check first. It's okay. You was, it'll be there one day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gotta go request it. That's it, huh? Don't you just have to? But what do you have to? What are the qualifications? Business. You gotta have a business page. You gotta oh. Have a business. business. And they want to know that you are who you are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it's more to that, but yeah. I can to, explain you it. You want to see your ID and everything. Like you got to upload your ID. Yeah. Well, you really have to verify you are this yeah. person. Okay. What's your ultimate goal for your career? Um, I'm just trying to get rich, really. Take care of my people, my family and stuff. You know, I got kids. I know. I, I saw that. Kids, How many so. kids do you have? I got four. You got four kids. Two boys, two girls? No, three boys. One three girl, boys, girl. one girl. What's the age range? Um, 11, 10, 7. I'm well, five minutes turned seven. Yep, and four. But do you mess with any of your baby mamas? Oh. No. Okay, I think we need to go to break on that one. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just a question. No, I don't mess with my baby. Well, since we didn't jump into this thing, because I was going to stall you out, but now we're here. Let's talk about Love and Hip Hop with you. So, do you watch that? I, guess I feel like that's a female show. No, no, no. It's Love and Hip Hop. You're in Hip Hop, and to. you also have to come across Love, right? I've watched it in a long time, though. No, my question to you is, so what's your status? Are you single? <laughs> is it complicated? You in an entanglement? You rather not say entanglement and complicated is out. We too grown. You know what it is and what it ain't. I rather not say. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's fine. That is fine. That is completely fine. But no, let's talk about dating though. Like with the dating, with dating, what's it like for you? Cause I, I wouldn't assume that it's hard. No, it's you know it's easy. It's easy to go on a date, but. But it's hard to keep someone's attention. Yeah. Do you come across clout chasers or people that are not genuine? For, yeah. You know? Yeah, a lot. Using for your name. A lot. Especially you got, when you get a blue check mark, you know, they be. So you know, what What are the signs? Yeah, how what do you signs? decipher? Yeah, how do you, how do you, yeah. yeah, how do you decipher? Because you got to know I'm from the streets. So when you're from the streets, you be, you, you know, nigga be out here and then. You try so, to talk to you try to talk to a female and then once they see you running it up, you know they they the now they trying to come holler at you. you feel what me? do running it up mean? <laughs> I'm thirsty. Uh, literally They're running that bag up. Mhm. Okay. Do you find it complicated to be an entertainer or an artist in trying to date? Right. Yeah. It's hard, huh? Why is it the studio sessions? 
late night studio sessions. See? Videos, mm-hmm. parties. Yeah. But let's talk um, about them studio sessions. Do you be having women come to... Let me get out your business. What do you need to get a great studio session going? Women, drink, weed, your boys. What do you need? By yourself. I don't smoke weed no more, so... It was just weed. You know, I record by myself. I record myself. So, I don't really... What but, made you decide? You know, with the you know when you're in there with the gang, it's a it's, it's always a vibe. It's like more motivation. Yeah. And then, what made you decide to stop smoking? It wasn't me. Oh, okay. Probation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Do you feel like the marijuana enhanced your creativity, or do you feel the same now that you have it? I slow you down. That weed slow you down most definitely. Oh, it makes me lazy. So yeah. now you have a clear mind. So everything worked out for the good that you have to stop anyways, right? Yeah. I always said I was going to stop. But they got all this new weed, Zaza. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? Cookies. <laughs> you be so trying to stop it right. in the yard. <laughs> like, what is that? You know, they, I don't smoke. All the, what they do, cookies, runts, mm-hmm. you know. The um, edibles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. them, edi- them edibles, I can't do them edibles, man. The edibles really have you out of it. Them stronger than the weed. <laughs> no, you be like man. on stuck mode. But look, so on a different level of love, since we already brought up your kids, um, I just want to ask you, how does having children affect your music? When you make songs, do you think like, well, what if Big Tank, what is you, what's your son's name? What did you say your kids' names was? <laughs> nicknames or you want their real name? Nicknames. It's cool with that. Airbud, Harlem, Fat Man. So, like, do you make a song of me? Like, damn, what if Airbud hear this back? Is he gonna be proud of me? Should right. I take these curse words out? Like, actually, my kids be running my views up too. For real, that's <laughs> that's, that's what's up. That's they get supporters. They then you gotta realize he has sons, so they looking up to him. Like, that's my dad. He cool. He doing this. He got the, the like. You know, they looking at him like my he got youngest, it going. My youngest yeah. son, he he got an iPhone, so he going like Siri. Play my dad. See? <laughs> oh, that is so. Does that make you feel good? Yeah, most definitely. I bet I that See? is so dope. Would you ever consider doing like a kids' Bob Dank edition? <laughs> they be rapping. They do. Yeah, they be rapping. They be in the bed. They be trying. You know. Like, but do it be sounding young, cool? Huh? <laughs> it be sounding cool. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you got to start them young. You, you know do what I mean? though. You do. You do. You do. Keep the legacy going. You know what I mean? But they be inspired by this. Like they be coming to the lab. You know, chilling, nice. around us. They be trying to see what we do. Yeah, yeah. that's because they they, they to, looking up to you. Gotta get out of there. Okay, so let me let me do this real quick. So since we're already talking about the studio and everything, so let me talk about the writing. Let's talk about the writing process. You know what I mean? So what what gets you going when you when you, when it, when it comes to writing lyrics? So what do you, what do you like go for as far as instrumentals and like what inspired you to to do music as far as like writing goes? Like what? What topics you want to we would talk about? It just comes to the head, like comes to mind. Yeah, it or? just come, it just come to the head. I just, I love music, so when I hear a beat, if the, if the beat hot, I'm going off. I mean, like, ain't no. So would you so, do a song that's like that would switch up your whole style? Yeah, I'm I'm versatile. So you I'm do pop? Sure versatile, I can. That's tight. So if I start busting out a beat right now, you will start freestyling. Get it. Go, friend. Go, friend. <laughs> freestyle. <laughs> Take you back with the pencil and the table and see what you can do. But no. So, like, we, I'm going to piggyback off you, LP. He asked you, like, about the writing. And it kind of made me wonder, too, what is your creative process like? Do you do you need to hear the beat for a day? Mm-hmm. Study it? Can you just hear right there in the lab? Yeah, it just it come right to the head. It come, it's, you know, so most of your songs are if you freestyle. think too hard, you ain't go. It ain't gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, you, you overthink it. That's true. You you yeah you you doing too much thinking. Mm-hmm. As soon as you hear the beat, the beat should, it say it. It's in the beat. You feel me? The song is in the beat. Period. So if you could collaborate with any artist, who would it be? Um, Drake. What? Because you know you are gonna have a number one <laughs> hit with yes, that man. Are. Yes, like, sure. Straight what about Dirk. I love Dirk. Yeah, Dirk too, for sure. Dirk. Dirk will probably, but Drake. Okay, top three. Drake. Who else? Drake. Dirk and Baby. Dirk, little baby. 
How you gonna let her tell you who I you mean, want to show? I mean, I'm not telling. I'm just letting. This is the one. Okay, the baby too, though. The baby. The boy. baby is tight. Yeah. yeah, he is. What about females? Uh, cash doll. You like cash doll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask you this: Is she way better than Megan Thee Stallion? I feel like Megan Thee Stallion got bars, and I feel like Cash Doll only got bars when she freestyling on Instagram. Her songs be whack to me. And I don't ever think any artist is really it's freestyling. It's a different culture for them, you know? Like, she from Detroit, and then Meg from Texas. That's true. So it's a little different. But So Cash Meg Doll. Too, though. Who you say? Ca- who is your top three? Cash Doll, who I wanna, else? I want her in my video doing the knees. Who, Meg? Meg. Meg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Meg, if you hear this, girl, drop it low. Drop it low. <laughs> With Show knees. what them knees is about. But look, so this is a little random, right? But I like to get in people like lives and see what else is going on other than what we're presented. So, you know, like in the hip hop industry everyone has like this tough persona they like you know you don't ever really see them with the flaw or vulnerable right so is there anything that you do that we would never think of like do you like to go thrift shopping do you sing in the shower do like you watch harry potter yes i go fishing oh my, oh my god. god how I long have i never been saying, guessed how long have i been saying i've been wanting to go fishing guessed all year friend no you don't i've been fishing since a kid I, I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed. It's peaceful. It's so peaceful. It is. I would probably scream if I catch a fish. No, you <laughs> will scream. It's very exciting. It's good, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's fun, though. Especially, especially when that fish is. Where do you go fish at? What's the top um, places to go fishing at? Long Beach. Oh, okay. So, S- local. Yeah, San Pedro. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. There'd be a few cool lakes that you could uh, fish out of. Uh, I never fished in the lake before. Really? Never. See, I became into that when I moved to Seattle because it's a lot of water out there. Yeah. Yes, it is. It's a lot of water out there. And then I realized how peaceful it is and just how to yourself you are. And, like, you just really get to take so much time and advantage of that. Yeah. I don't know. You feel renewed. Yeah. So, what you say? Because I got a bad thing with cutting people off. I don't want to no, cut you off. Not. Okay, friend. <laughs> I, she too. I do, I do. I'm working on that. Look, if you weren't in music, what would you be doing? If I wasn't in music, <laughs> running a business. Period. What kind of business? You can do both. You need to do some right fashion now, or something. You don't got no clothes out. I had a clothing line out. I sold it though. For real? Yeah, it's called percentage. Percentage clothing. Why you sell it? For a percentage. <laughs> but don't you have... I mean, it's a hassle. That, them, them clothes is a hassle. It is. That's why I told you. That's why I stopped doing my boutique business. It's a hassle. It's, like, for I'm real. sure, but like, what if it... What if like next thing you know, percentage is like next to Chanel? And then no, you sold it. Seriously. You know? Did you ever... I still got a percentage in it, though. Okay, that's right. <laughs> so it's not even a real L. It's just like, you know, yeah. step back a little bit. You just step back, but you still, okay, that's of, cool. One of my close friends, you feel me? I let one of my close friends run it. So it's cool, though. Like, we have people reaching out, like Mark Echo. That's oh, tight. That's nice. That's nice. Because Echo needs to get revamped. I'm ready to pull back some Echo. You, <laughs> you never wear Echo? Uh, echo, no. you never wore no. Echo? Y'all, I, oh, I, I never wore it. I, I think I still I know. have it. I know. Echo was cracking and Rockaware. But y'all born. Inichi. Inichi. Don't sleep. No. <laughs> I'm just like, I haven't even had a pair of Sean Johns. <laughs> up top, friend. Up I did What was out when you was going to school? Um, Fat Farm. Baby Fat. Apple Bottom. Apple, Apple bottom. bottom. That's the same era. I don't know. My mom didn't allow me to wear that stuff. <laughs> no, seriously, because she's Muslim, so she was hella strict on me. Mm. So jeans in the top with some K-Swiss. Damn, okay. Ugh. Well, shout out to them K-Swiss. But that's why I'm so fly now. Right. My mama didn't allow me, so now I just bust them. Kind of bust out yeah. on every chest I Bitch, get. you thought I was going to be, what? <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel that the internet has helped your career? Or do you feel like that? Um, internet take away a lot too. 
It's cool, but it's bad at the same time. Why you say that? Because people get caught up in it. Yes. Be mm. thinking they more than what they are. Mm-hmm. For I sure. know. The Especially internet gives Instagram. people courage. Yeah. Okay. Well, do you feel like it has at least impacted your business? Yeah, for sure. For sure, right? For sure. Okay. Look, let me ask you this. When it comes down to, like, the fans or just anybody that's aspiring to be like you, do what you do, what is some advice that you can give them? Keep grinding. You know, just keep going. It's going to come one day. Yeah. You can't give up on your dream. Mm -hmm. Never give up on your dream. No matter how old you is. You know, you had two chains, for example. No, for real. Two chains is a great example. Wait, so what age did he make it? He already was out as Titty Boy. Yeah, so but, oh, but it didn't came out as when he was about 30, 30 something, huh? And they're 40. <laughs> and now he is, and bust, you yeah, know? now he's like doing his thing. Since you brought up two chains, he's a signed artist. Um, like, how do you feel about the industry? And if there's anything you could change in the industry, what would you change? Dick writing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just, I encourage everybody to be independent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you want to own all your masters, all your rights to your music and stuff. And when you don't, it's like you ain't really seeing nothing. And that's what Nipsey was big on, being an independent artist. And for sure, you know, Nip, Nip, he raised me. You feel me? Like, that's big bro. That's the piece for me. But big bro, he really taught me a lot about the game just by seeing it. And then mm-hmm. sitting down with him, and he's chopping it up with me like, bro, just keep hustling. Yeah. You feel me? It's going to come. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel like um, to ever really be as successful as one can be that you need the backing of a label? Or do you feel like you can do it by yourself independent and really be like superstar status? <clears throat> it depends. You got to have that money. Yeah. That's really what That's it what is. That's what it is. Take the money, you know. You and who you know. Bi- you could build an artist. You could go get somebody off the street, and if you got the money behind you, you know, like, yeah. you could put the money up and make them look good one day, get that right beat. You can go even have somebody right. You feel me? You can. And there you go. They on top. So. I feel like people don't want to start at the bottom. They want to just automatically get to the top, and, you know, reap the benefits that they really didn't even really work hard for. Like, Biggie Smalls, he was performing at colleges. and yeah, high, He did yeah. what he had to do to be who he was. These people, they feel like, in a sense, they're too good to do little colleges and high schools and whatever. I think that's what that's about the Internet. Like, I feel like people see... Montek J did it? Yeah, like, I feel like people see how... Well, we don't really ever know what the next artist struggle is. Sometimes yeah. it do look like people just get on overnight. Like Megan, yeah, that, that they do. I swear, no, I never I watched heard, Megan. Though. I never heard about her. I heard her do the Act Up Challenge. I remember P from uh, the Migos manager. He re- reposted her, and then she was everywhere. Girl, I watched her on Twitter. At all the time she was on the ends in But was she? Was she was. She was hard. She's always been hard. Right. Always spit bars. Okay, stallion air. I got, okay. I, got a, I got a homie, and he always tell me about music. He be like, dang, listen to dude. He gonna bust. Like, See? he gonna be the next one. And I be like, yeah. And then next thing you know, he be like, then I tell you, bro. Like, Chief Keef, for example. I been off Chief Keef's a little recently yep. before they blew up. And mm-hmm. he was like, dang, listen to this little nigga right here. And then he bust. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, hold on. Okay. So are you quick to take on somebody mm-hmm. under your wing if you feel that same energy, like, oh, this is a talented individual? Yeah, I got I got somebody in front of me right now. Who? He don't want to say. <laughs> Why? It's under wraps. It's a surprise. Come on, Al. It's Chubbs. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Chubbs. Come on out to the album. Chubbs been working, though. <laughs> been a few songs. You know, you've been in the studio enough. You go try. You're going to start yeah, with you saying are. stuff. You're going to be like, for sure. oh, that was hard. <laughs> like, oh, no, nah, nigga, you need to say this. Sorry. Just let me be Let me be in the video with a ski mask and a gun in the front like this. <laughs> 
No, for real. So what's what's coming up for you? What can we expect? Tell us your new projects. More Let us know. Videos. More, more visuals, videos. more visuals. I've just been trying to flood them with the visuals. Like, I just dropped one last night, and I ain't even promoted, just dropped it. So, I got, man, I'm probably like a thousand songs up. Dang. Like, I've been working for a long time. Like, I've been doing this music stuff for a long time. So, like, what you saying, you're a thousand songs up. You just record songs you and just then put them just out? keep, you just record them just to have them, and then you go back in your catalog and make visuals? Like, how do you do it? I just, you know, record them. It might be, you know, because with this music, it's the, you got to put them out at the right time. You can't just. Yeah. Yeah, it's always about song, timing. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. And I had a song like me. I got a song with G Malone, and bro, like, dang, I dropped the song. Shout out to G Malone. Shout yeah, out to G He was G a Malone. previous guest, he too. He was. Yeah, that's big. That's fun. Yeah, yeah he's sure. cool. He's super cool. Yeah, so. So, like, how do you know when's the right time is? Like, what kind of music have you been putting out over the pandemic? Um, I've been on the Detroit way heavy. I mean, like, I got people from Detroit and shit, so I've been around it. I, my, like, a lot of my people from BMF. So I've been up on that era for a long time. Like, mm-hmm. We like Detroit. So you <laughs> like the whole Y&J, the Rio, the yeah. – is it energy? Is energy from Detroit? Do you know who I'm talking about? That producer, and they be like, "Energy, you always doing yeah. something." <laughs> that is energy. You got I something. I never heard that. that. That's tight. So you've been kind of rocking with Detroit for right now. But that is that. Oh, we got a caller. We have a caller. Yeah, we have a caller. Who's Let's the caller? Yeah. Caller, you're on the air with the only hip hop show. What's your name? Where you calling from? This is Thank You Sister. I'm calling from Watts. Hey, Watts hey, in the shout building. Out to you, girl. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, brother. What else, I sis? just tuned in, and you know, I'm like behind you 100%. I see you, bro, doing your thing and stuff. Stop being shy. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up. <laughs> That's a real sister for you. Yeah. Behind you. I appreciate it, sis. No, I love my brother. Like, I'm really having my big brother a lot. And, um, you know, it's a lot of people that he helped out. In a lot of ways, and you know, a lot of people came from a studio where they get parts and stuff. My brother let a lot of people come in and rap for free. Mm-hmm. We always been motivated to them, and I just I'm behind them 100. percent I had to get on here and say something. But oh, I that's for that. And <laughs> you know, I'm tuned in, niggas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what's yeah. up. Everybody needs support. Everybody needs that one person that's gonna be like. On their head, and you know, just supporting for sure. It's my the mom, that's my yes. mom, my mom. Yeah, everybody think I'm his mama. I'm the little sister, I'm the baby sister, but I do act like I'm the oldest. But I'm, I, I support my brother. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah. Definitely I'm here love for him sure. through whatever he already knows. <laughs> I didn't see everybody the lie. In my DMs, like a hundred people. I yes. Don't know, I don't know, I feel like my nephew, her son, he want to be just like me. For real. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's up. You already know, sure. m and money never sleeps. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know. Her calling in is just, that was good vibes. That's good vibes. So yeah. many, like, good vibes. That's like, good vibes. That's good vibes. Money never sleeps. Hey. I'm feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> feeling it. Thank you for calling, yes. sis. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We didn't even say Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to y'all. (laughs) Dang, Happy New Year. It's a new year, and this is our first guest on the first Sunday of the year. Yes. Nothing but good things will happen to you from here on out because this is the first Sunday of the year. And you working. And you working. (laughs) And you with the queen. Real talk. (laughs) The queens of every damn thing. thing. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Shout out right, to the only right. hip hop show. Thank you. Yeah, Thank most you, definitely, man. most respect. Um, so, what were you about to say? I was gonna say I didn't know if you was gonna conclude <laughs> it, so I wanted him to just tell Thank everybody you. where they could find him. Yeah. at you know Instagram. Well, let me and stuff. ask this real quick before he does that. So, okay. so Dank, um, the question is, this is like my one of my favorite questions. So, how do you want to be remembered? Oh, that's a good question. As a legend, you know. For sure, legend. For sure, on top. I want to be the one of the biggest artists out here, and mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep working at it. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. 
I'm trying to be on Jay Z status. Okay. Right. And you can. And so you when can. we do another clothing drive, could we call on M and S to come out and donate and clothes with us? Yeah, for sure. We got plenty of clothes. <laughs> yeah, let me get M&S one of these jackets or something. <laughs> a little percentage jacket or something. I got some. We got some. We got some, we got some shirts. I think we got some shirts in the car for y'all too. Okay. Okay. Well, you yeah. know what? Since we speaking of gifts. We got Chubbs you a gift. Chubbs told me that you love Wakano. So on behalf <laughs> of the Only Hip Hop Show, we wanted to give you this gift card. Get you a little appetizer, a little entree, <laughs> tag us or something, you yes, know. Sir. We wanted to give you that. You we know, just like, want you like we the, want you to know that wontons. we appreciate you. Y'all taste them before? The what? wontons? The crab, the he crab said wontons. that that's what you like. They, they fire. Go okay. and get you some. <laughs> on us. Come on. On us. Leveling up, LP. <laughs> give me an air five. Bam! Leveling up. Period. <laughs> Production assistant. I <laughs> can't forget you, girl. So real quick. <laughs> okay, so Dank, how can, uh, how can they find you? How can they reach you? Um, my Instagram, MNS underscore Dank. YouTube, MNS Dank. Facebook, MNS Dank. Twitter, MNS Dank. I'm all over the social media thing. But the yeah. same tag, though. The same yeah. ha- That's dope. The TikTok. same handle. Yeah, that is. You be on TikTok? <clears throat> Sometimes. <laughs> Do you? Maybe. Oh, Triller. Oh, Triller is dope. Triller, Triller. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, Aisha, Fine Ass KK, where they can find y'all? You can find me on Instagram at Fine Ass KK, Twitter, that girl is poison, Facebook, Khadija Island. And you can just. Find me on your local TV screen. I'm going to keep saying that until it comes to past manifestation. Yes. But no, look, Instagram at the real Aisha Nubian. Just hit me up on Instagram because Facebook be for my fam bam. Yeah, it is. Family. For real, though. <laughs> I'm going to talking to Uncle Charles and all that on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> LP, where can they find you at? You can find me on Google. I'm everywhere. <laughs> okay. I'm on Spotify, I'm on iTunes, you name it. Ron okay. Ron Pierce. Did you spell it? L A O N P I E R C E. That's, that's it. I'm everywhere. You can find me on Instagram, same thing. Twitter, same thing. SoundCloud, same thing. Everything is everything is all over the place. So, and you can actually find me on Facebook as Laron Davistin. That's spelled D A V as in Victor I S T O N. So you can just add me. You can just hit me up. You know what I'm saying? So um, this concludes the Only Hip Hop Show. And that's all, folks. That's all, folks. <laughs> and, um, Shouts out to the hip hop show. Yes, sir. The only yes, hip hop show. The only hip hop show. show. <laughs> so, real quick, when we get up out of here, so Dank, uh, introduce this COVID 19 video for us on our way out. Oh, yeah, man. It's COVID 19. Just dropped it last night. Tune yeah. in. It's hot. <laughs> That's that. Yeah. Squad on there. Hey. Period. All right. Showing that back. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, we're going to get up out of here. So, we'll be back in two weeks. Have a good night.